Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in this video I want to get into the number one ClickUp alternative that I've been able to find and it's really the one that's not going to give you all the options that you may get in ClickUp where you can use it for a business, you can work with teams and you have automation. But if it gives you enough capabilities, I think, to get started at anything you're doing and also to manage your your entire personal life. So if you're looking for that ClickUp alternative tool, it's free. It comes with the calendars. You have reminders, tasks, uh, manage events. You can do, use notes in there as well um, and also documents in the solution. And and as I mentioned, it's completely free you may have used it before or if you have not then it's something that you've been overlooking that's really easily accessible and I think that you're really gonna like it what else I think you're gonna like is this video so go ahead and smash that like button subscribe to the channel it really helps the channel out I appreciate it very much and with that said let's get on with the video so the solution we're going to look at today, let's go ahead and switch over to this other tab I have open and we're going to switch over to the Google Calendar. So the solution that I'm uh, proposing here as one of the number one click up alternatives, you know, understanding the limitations, you're going to you're not going to get the automation out of the box or built in. Uh, to the solution and it's not as e friendly for the business and um, working with teams but you can leverage some of those those team features sharing certain documents calendars etc but I'm really going to focus on how you can leverage this Google suite and use it for your personal time management your events your reminders so on and so forth so starting with the calendar right so if we go back and forth do kind of compare and contrast with click up here is you know i have here one of my spaces open and it's using the calendar view here to show all the tasks i have it synced with google as well so we will see some of the the same tasks and events in, uh, in, in one calendar or one tool versus the other, but you do not need ClickUp uh, when you're leveraging the Google Calendar. Everything that you can do here, so from you have reminders here, we have notes where you can add in notes. I'm going to show you how you can do this in, in a Google Suite. You can uh, create documents and this should be fairly easy where you can go into Google Drive, you can create documents. You have access to Excel uh, documents where you can use uh, formulas, really rich that with formulas, it's similar to Microsoft Excel. And you also get presentations and, uh, and more that you can do there. And of course here you can use tasks to either just manage the general task or uh, work with projects. So if we go into the Google Calendar, we'll see this is the same calendar that I um, had showing in ClickUp in the ClickUp view where I'm syncing the Google Calendar. But we can see it looks really nice. Um, I, I do like the presentation here. You get different views that you can do here where you can break it down by day, by week, by month, and year as well. But the one I really do like uh, probably the most here is the schedule view where it just breaks down everything within the day. You don't get to see any of the empty spaces within your, say, your, your day calendar. It just shows you all the activities, what time they are uh, scheduled. And then you get this red line to show you where you're at within the day and you can see everything that came before it and what's coming next. So I really like this view. You also get the full calendar view on the on the left hand side here and you also get other calendars that you can you can uh, select or deselect as well if you don't want to see them in your view. If you go to the create you can click the create button and what you get here is you get a couple options. So it, it may not be readily noticeable or, you know, it may not stand out as much as it, it could, but you get to create either an event, a reminder or a task, just like you could in the ClickUp screen where you can uh, 
create a reminder, a task, which if you put a date on the task, then it becomes an event in your calendar. So it's somewhat the same. Those two are pretty similar. Now, when you're in your, your task, you can create, you can put more details in here. Um, you can select which list that you want to have it assigned to. I'll show you where you can create different lists uh, that you can have in your tasks. You have the reminders and you can schedule a time and date on when you want to get an alert for those. And an event is just like a calendar um, event that you're typically used to. And you can also assign a Google Meet uh, video conference as well if you want to send one of those out. But um, the calendar is very powerful here. It gives you all of these different options. And the mobile experience is exactly the same, except it's built for mobile. And I'll show that later in the, uh, in the video. You have additional options that you can select here on the calendar. One, one difference here between the ClickUp and the actual Google Calendar here is that Within click up here, um, you can see I'm syncing options with different calendars. If you want to view, say everything and you know, from this calendar view and your list view, you'll notice that only the actual task and click up shows up here. So this is really the only view that's going to give you the sync calendar items. So either you're going to, to get the, the most benefit from ClickUp, put everything in ClickUp and not have other things in your, in your calendar because you may miss them if you don't look at this view. But if you're using, say, Google Calendar and you dedicate everything to using the Google Suite here, then you're always going to see the activities, the reminders, the events and the tasks that you um, you schedule. So that's one uh, big bonus of using the Google Suite exclusively. Now you do have other calendars here at the bottom where you can add in the holiday calendars. I have here some of the, let's move this out of the way. I have some of the uh, other calendars here where I can see when the dolphins are, are playing um, from Miami. So I try to track when the dolphins are playing so I can watch them. The phases of the moon, the Tampa Bay Buck, and you have access to other calendars items here that you can either browse uh, calendars of interest or you can subscribe to other calendars. Now, in this same window or pane uh, within the browser here, What's nice is that you have this little side pane here where you can add additional apps. And one of the apps is Tasks. So Google Tasks can be added here. And I have a couple example tasks set up here. So say I'm going to, to I need to pick up groceries and I want to have it as a task instead of an event. I can create that. You can also have sub items in your task or subtask. In here you can put a description you can select that list as I mentioned before which list those are assigned to and you can also set a time and date to be alerted one of the key things here is that these tasks and the alerts when you set them they show up on your calendar so we can see here where uh, pick up groceries is showing on my calendar so I'm not losing sight of anything even though this is technically scheduled or um, this item is set up in a different app but the integration here is is showing through by when I schedule something here in the task it shows up on the calendar and this is one thing where I say if you're using ClickUp you have to completely use ClickUp in order to get the same type of visibility this may be better suited for you you're you're probably already have a Google uh, email account which comes with calendar docs tasks and also the the notes app which I'm going to show you right now which is Google Keep so Google Keep is a one a notes app for Google and it's really a simple notes app that that you can jot down information in you can keep either long long form type info 
but it's not really meant for that. Usually small, um, small content, you know, that you're throwing in into your notes. You can also get um, handwritten items here. So another thing that ClickUp does not have, they have notes, but you cannot handwrite your notes. So if you do have a, you know, a stylus and a, say an iPad or some other pen recognition device, you can actually do your handwriting in Google Keep on that device. iPad works very well. I use it from time to time and you can see their handwritten notes here as well. From here, you can break out to Google Keep in its full form. You know, it has its own page where you can manage your notes. You, you have labels that where you can these are pretty much tags where you can kind of um, add tags to your notes and separate them. You can get different views here if you click on these different labels. So one way to organize your notes a little bit better here. If you have a handwritten note, these can also be uh, translated so or converted to text. So here you can see grab image text. We can click on that if we want to grab the text from this this handwritten note. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we'll see everything here that was um, converted over and it converts very well. Um, one thing it does, it does is if you're doing a new line here, it holds to that new line. So you may have to reformat the say the text if it's supposed to all be in one sentence and change it from there. But the handwriting um, conversion is, is really good. So another thing you can do here in Google Keep is that you can also set up reminders on your note. So if you need to set up some kind of alert on this note, we can come in here and we can say remind me. You can either put later today, put a time on it. It go ahead. It goes ahead and marks a, um, a timestamp here puts it in the reminders and you'll be alerted for this here. Now it also shows up on your calendar as well. So, and then if we go on over to the calendar, we'll see this, this note, uh, the reminder for this note in the calendar. So if we come down here to the bottom, it was scheduled for eight o'clock as a reminder. And that sh that note shows up here. So we can go ahead and click here. We can see what it is. You can mark it as done. You can do the same thing with tasks that you may have set up in your task app. You can mark those complete from the calendar and it really makes working with the different reminders all in one place um, a lot more efficient. One other thing here in the task is that you can create multiple lists. Um, we, right now I have two, I can create another list here and you can separate these lists or the different tasks into your different lists. If you like, um, you can leave them as one. Again, it's really flexible here. You can kind of do what you want here. So this is very customizable and should fit any workflow that that you want to put in place. Now, one thing here with the task, you can give it a name, put a description. You can assign it to a list, give it a, a, an alert or a due date here. You can put in subtasks, but you can see here, you cannot assign these say to another person. So this is where, again, this solution is not meant for teams. I'm showing you this here, mostly for uh, personal time management, um, personal efficiency, taking notes for yourself, not for really working with a team, being able to collaborate. So if you really want those collaboration options and you are working with a team, ClickUp is a great solution for that. So, and also in the notes app, if you're in one of your notes and you want to get that over to Google docs, you can easily uh, select the, the little three dots here and you can copy that to your Google docs. And if you want to get to your Google Docs or Google Drive here, you can always switch over to Google Drive um, and you have access to all of the Google Drive document format. So you can come in here and you can create a Google Doc, a sheet, the slides and some forms and other 
other things here that Google provides to you. And they give you this stuff for free. You do have limits on here. We can see here I have a 15 gig limit. But if you're just using this for yourself, you're just starting out and you can even use this for a business. But if you're if you're a single entrepreneur doing these things on your own or you just want to manage your own personal life using, you know, a complete solution that has basically everything that you're going to require, then the Google suite of tools is a very good solution for that. Okay, so I hope that that was helpful. If it was, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until the next time, have a nice day.